We are safe off this stuff. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brief one today. Uh, we're going to go over again. Uh, we're going to go over uh, where did you go and wash your hands. Uh, we're going to use it first and then we're going to break it down. Uh, what's uh, uh, what's going on with that in that sentence and uh, then we're gonna go through the uh, steps on washing hands and then break down what's going on with that one too. All right. Chad quads oh all tiak so hell. Right? Like I said last time, it could end here. But we don't need to. Um you could even drop quad quads off and say chad oh oh so hell. And that would more turn into like, where are you going today? Instead of where are you going today? Um, you know, more like what this picture is depicting down at the bottom. This would be like Chad Oh. Chad Oh. All right, where you go? You go. Where are you going? I think. Versus Chad Quads Oh, that's actually implying a question because. The quads is the state of you're not knowing exactly where they're going, right? Versus Chad Oh would be more like a kid's playing around and they start running around a corner and be like, Chad Oh, where are you going? I know where you're going, but where are you going? You know, kind of thing. And then again, all Tia Sahel. You could. Just because uh, you could say Chad Quads, oh, and you know, you'd still have to say all TX, so fail. Right? Whatever it is. Chad Quads, oh, all TX, so fail, and then turn around. Chad Quads, oh, all TX, so fail. Oh, oh, quality, uh, just come up with five things, man. Five things. Oh, oh, tea bathroom. Oh, tea kitchen. Oh, tea work. Oh, tea, uh, coffee shop. Oh, tea, uh, car. You know, it doesn't have to be in order of any kind. Right now, we're just trying to say, Chad Claude, oh, 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 chud, chud, tea, right? And after the chud, tea, that's where you insert your English. Right? So ask the question, chad, pod, oh, 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 chud, chad, pod, oh, oh, chud, chad, pod, oh, 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 chud, right? So, chat quad oh, oh, chat quad oh, 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 chat, chat quad oh, 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 chat, yeah. I mean, this one is so funny. Yeah, we're doing this, we're sliding around. It's fine. Most important key is this part right here. Chad Quadro. That part right there. That's the big key. That is what you need to open the doors. Alright. And then 
Don't forget that. So that's the question. So you're asking somebody, Todd Quadville. And then like what I said over there, and this part here is said only once at the start on you say it when you do your oh. Everything else is optional after that. Right. And then after you say it once in this sentence, oh 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 chad twal t buck up. And then you go down here and you will drop the O, right? And then you'll add a. Right. O, O, Ch, T, B, O, B, O, O, Ch, T, O, T, it's all okay. Actually, you could say O, O, Ch, Oh, let's go. Put this off. Green. green. When this turns green, then that goes away. All right. So when you add off, oh, right? You take twelve out. O oh, or oh. Off, chud, t, zal k. Oh, off, chud, t, zal k. Right? To build on the sentence. Oh, oh, chud, twelve t. Uh, doof. Why am I saying doof? Buck up, buck up. Oh, chatty buck up. Oh, off chud tea. It's all okay. Oh, off chud tea. It's all okay. Oh, off chud twelve tea. Take a box. Shuck a box. Eh? Oh, off, chud, t, shoot, all that, right? So this one is very particular to 7-Elevens. Shoot, alt, or to shoot means slurp. Shoot, right? Shoot, right? Because the shoot seed is a very mimicative language, we mimic the sound that you make when you take a slurp of a hot thing. Right? So what people sound like when they're slurping. So in this case, shoot alt, right? The place of slurping, the house of slurping, right? For slurpees. <laughs> Right, the new word, uh, me and Zeke made this back in 2013, 2014, somewhere around there. Uh, we we're down at University of Oregon. And if you ever went down to University of Oregon, there's a main strip uh, right down the, right down the, uh, where the duck store, or right, right where the duck store is and where, what did they call that? The union store, student union store? You just keep going. It's just like a block down further, and then there's a 7-Eleven there. Not this 7-Eleven. I don't know where this 7-Eleven is at. But you know, all 7-Elevens are the same. They all have Slurpees. <laughs> so where I was going there, I was taking a uh, summer, summer language um, immersion course, and I was all like, it, it, we kept on saying, um, Hoyu ball, right? Right, hoyu ball, hoyu ball, hoyu ball. And then I was all like, Zeke, what do you call this then? Slurpy? Slurp. And he was like, dude, I have something, I have something, I have it written down somewhere. I'll get back to you tomorrow. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. So I got so excited that I couldn't sleep at all. That one little wink, I was just trying to sleep. 
in the dormitories there. And then um, next day, SLA comes in. He was like, yeah, all right. But we're going to go, where did you go? I went here, I went here. And he was like, James, where's your, yes, you have one again. Because I, I just went and got Slurpees after Slurpees after Slurpees that year. That year, it was 110 degrees for like five days straight. And then it just dropped down to like 89. And then, so it was hot the entire time. So I just kept on having a Slurpee with me all the time because it was, it was just so hot, right? Down there in the Eugene, Oregon. And uh, we ended up doing that. So as we found that word for slurp, And uh, that, that's where Slurpees came from. Yeah. Or that's where our word for Slurpees came from. Or shoot, alt, right? All one word. That's just to break it up so you can uh, pronounce it a little easier. Shoot, alt, right? This, this has no... Um, It has no meaning. I just put it there so that you know you can see the space. So even if I do it this way, you'll see a space between them so that you can go, oh, shoot all, instead of trying to say shoot all, right, all at once. So break it up, shoot all, instead of just being one big. Okay, so uh, another prefix here is la, la o cha twal ti, right? Now you add la to habitually keep doing that process. You're gonna habitually going to the bathroom. Now the bathroom that you go to uh, routinely, uh, it, and I only put it on this one because it helps me remember the routine part where it is done daily. Um, for sure, guaranteed to be done daily is where you want to put la, right? So, budil alt, sa, alt, and a uh, alal. You can drop the la and you can add the o for new information. You could say uh, la o out as well, right? But it just adds too much. You just want to say o oh, 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 chud, twal, t, right? It just just if you're going to keep building that information, oh, oh, chud, t, uh, uh, oh, 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 chud, t. Right. So O is not the past, not the present. It is a new idea, right? In the dictionary, you will see O as a as a tense marker. All right, tenses are. Um, Perfect tense right now. Past perfect tense is yesterday. Future tense perfect tomorrow, right? So there's also a past tense, uh, future tense that aren't perfect, right? And there is a present tense that's not a present perfect tense. It's a present tense, right? But the shoots Shootsuit. <laughs> it could be in the in the past. It could be in the future. It could be now. Depends on the context on what we're talking about, right? So, so I could say, "Hello, uh, All right, going to the bathroom. Right? You know, you know it's right now. Right? You know, I'm going to go to the bathroom right now. Or, or I could say, oh, chad, 12, t, 
to where I'm talking about the past, right? Where did you go yesterday? Oh, I went to the bathroom yesterday, right? So this whole context on what we're talking about in the moment, right? In this moment <laughs> on that we're talking uh, is all, all the perspective that we're going to be teaching, the, the tenses, right? Yes. Let linguistics is fun, fun, fun stuff. Linguistics is, and especially uh, our indigenous Lushootsi language, which is a sub dialect. Lushootsi is a sub dialect to a Salishian language, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, this is the this is the word that we use for Slurpees for like a year or so, and um, I was like, dude, there has to be a word for Slurpees. There has to be a word for Slurpees, right? And it doesn't even have to end here. You can say oh cha twelve t holy ball t right? You add the word t, and then we're gonna end the store's name. Holy about T Walmart, holy about T uh, Fred Myers, holy about T Target, holy about T Shell, holy about T. Well, we would use cat of seed alt for that instance, but, but we still could use it. Because if you're going in there for the convenience store part, then you can use holy ball. But if you're going in there to purchase gas, then I would suggest you use it as a cat of seed all because then you're buying gas for the gas station, not for the convenience store part, right? Yeah? Okay. No? Convenience store? Gas station store? Both one and same. I, I don't know. Whatever you guys want. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, comment down below on which one you would use for uh, Holy Bolt or Cata Seed Alt. You know, they're both kind of the same thing, kind of not. One's paying for gas in the gas station, and the other one's kind of paying for groceries at the gas station. And I, I've bought food to cook at the house at the gas station before. So Technically, technically, the, the convenience part is kind of like the holy ball. Yeah, also got gloves and a jacket there before once. Depends on what kind of holy ball it is, huh? Just, just saying. Gonna use it. Might as well find a way to fun and use it, right? Cut a seed alt, right? And got down here, down here. You can see. Kerosene, right? Kerosene. Alt. Yeah. Oh. What you just say for? All right. Yeah. So again, again, who are you about this? Uh, uh, it is a point of perspective on what we're using it for. We, we could see Holy Bolt Tire Tire Shop, our auto mechanic store. Holy Bolt to Kelp Bead, right? Fixing the car here, and these bays here, right? Or we could do uh, car wash, Kelp Bead, uh, Tob. Kelp Bead, right? Tob Kelp Bead for the um, car wash, right? So I'm going to go to the Oh, kelp bead. <laughs> no, okay, fine, fine, fine. Wasn't that funny? Alright, 
kitchen. Cook, suit, all eat. Oh, chutty, cook, suit, all eat. Uh, oh, oh, chutty, cook, suit, all eat. Oh, chutty, cook, suit, all eat. <laughs> you know, this might be easier to explain in a different context outside of going somewhere. <laughs> See, I didn't say just car because, you know, mode of transportation, right? Mode of transportation, mode of transportation. And then you get one of these things with a little whoop de there and a little whoop de there. And you got the little thing there and it goes down and got the canoe thingy. Yeah, yeah, that's also Kelpie. Yes. Because I can draw on here, I swear I can. All right, well, more than likely, what, what would happen is I'd be like this little arch there, and like a little arch there, and it's flat here. A little thing there. With wings. Fine. I can't draw on here. I'm, I'm bad at it. Just, just to say, play it safe. Us. Play it. No. <laughs> no drawing. Should I draw safe? Us. Okay. No plan. All right. See, I use Adi, as you can tell. I got I got a lot of books and papers just stacked up, waiting to get done, dead. All my work just st stacking there, sitting there. <laughs> oh, oh, Chad Twelve T C I U S A D. Oh, Chad Twelve T C I U S A D. Oh, oh, Chad Twelve or oh, oh, Chad. TCIU Saudi. Yeah, and it's just me. Yeah. Let's use it. I figured it out. Let's use it. And then, by the way, that'll be another. That's three now. Better call it quits for today before I get any more. Us adult. Now, this is a picture of a restaurant. Now, again, just like the other place, what you do with whoop a doos, you go T and then insert name there. Um, oh, Chad 12 T, us adult T, or it could be um, the four. Heck. It could even be before, dude. You could put a little thing there and key us adult. Oh, Chud 12 T. Uh, Red Robin's T. Us adult. Red, Red Robin Madhouse. Uh, oh, Chud 12 T. Or oh, or oh, Chad twelve T um, McDonald's T us adults, right? I really wouldn't want to call it McDonald's a restaurant, but you know what I'm talking about. Just put restaurant name in before and or after, depending on which part of the importance of it is. So 
uh, the importance of what you're talking about depends on where you wanted to put it. Because the more important thing is right here. Not right here, right here. Okay, okay in this instance, it would be this hand, not this hand, because it's reversed. This is my right hand, this is my left hand. So in this case, it would be your right hand. Name of the restaurant, or the restaurant is this. This is the important part, right? Restaurant name. All right, this is a restaurant and here's the name. Say what desta. More important information. Say what is my name, right? Is my name. Say what is the name, but is my name, right? So you could put Denny's T Ushadal, right? Same kind of thing. Just psh, 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 all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's try it again. All three ways to say it. Ready? Are you get are you ready? Are you ready? Oh oh chud twal T Ushadal T. Denny's, right? Again, I, I, I think, I think it'd be more useful on this side, right? You put a couple spaces, you can put the T and then the space. So, oh, oh, chud, twal, t, Denny's, t, adult. That sounds better. I don't, I don't know why, but it sounds better. All right. Oh, chud, twal, oh, chud, twal, t, Denny's, t, adult. Right? And then you got oh oh chud t Denny's t us at all. Yeah. Woo! I got all three right. Yes. But I have to give myself a little another check mark here for that part. Oh say oh, oh. Messing this part. Should just said your name in the first place. They say what festa. Say what festa. Denny's is the place, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, say far. Say far. Ah, And again, probably the same thing here. We want to put the, the coffee house name here in P. P. Right? And again, I emphasize the la o here because there's four different ways. Four different ways to say something that you're going habitually for. <laughs> one is habitual. Second one is new information. Third one is just a uh, just general broad. And fourth one is to build information up. Right. So let's go with this one. All four. Ready for four this time? Four. Four. So, la o, chud, twal, t, uh, Starbucks, t, coopy alt, uh, o, o, chud, twal, t, Starbucks, t, coopy alt. Oh, I guess. Oh, chud, I say, wash. Jeez. Just so bad. Sigh. So if we have it in this format, right? La Ocha Squall Starbucks Tea Cupio, right? O Ocha Squall Starbucks Tea Cupio, right? Or, or, would we do the T, right? And then do the all T right here, right? All T, coopy all, right? The place of conjecting, conjoining two things and jointing it together. So it locks, locks it down in place and see it across the bridge. Right? I don't know. Again, 
If you are a linguistics person, what would you feel like it? Please comment on this thing. And I will stop giving myself the little check marks because I'm already at like a bazillion. Thoughts, concerns, questions? No? Here we go. Ochcha twalti la hadup adi, ochcha twalti chawat adi, or chawat il adi. So let's call that for class today. See what you guys think. Um, don't forget, ring the bell, comment, share, please share. Be sharing, sharing is caring. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, Chad, sushi to beat seed, hot pots, a shoots boot, slobs boot, take a kabucha. Um, all of that fun stuff. Oh.